So in a previous video, I showed you how you can clean up a mesh that was captured from Google Maps 3D such that it had a single material and a single texture. But one of the downsides was that the UV unwrapping process in earlier versions of Blender was very slow. And in the latest version of Blender, which is 3.6, the UV unwrapping and packing algorithm was vastly improved. It was rewritten in C++. And in addition to that, I created this script, which goes through all of the steps in the previous tutorial automatically using Python. So I've got a little capture here, which I took from Google Maps. It's a little section of Berlin, and you can see that it is still comprised of the individual Google Maps tiles, and they're all in this collection. So I'm going to go over here to the scripting tab, and here in the text editor, I'm going to create a new text data block by pressing on this button. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the 3D mesh cleanup page. I'm going to press this little copy to copy file contents button here, and then I'm just going to paste the contents into the text editor here. And then you can see that all of that script has been pasted into Blender's text editor. And all we need to do now is run the script. But before I do that, I'm going to open up the system console here under the window menu. And that's going to give us a little readout of what's going on whilst the script is running. So you can see here, this is the printout from a previous uh, test that I did. I'm just going to rearrange my windows. And so now with my console window open, with my collection selected with all of the parts in it, and with my script loaded up into the Blender text editor, all I need to do now is press play. And you can see when I press play, you can see it's going to start going through. It tells us that the cleanup, cleanup process has started at this time, and it's telling us that it's on step one. It's joining the objects together, and then it's going to go through and remove all of the materials from all of the objects. And next we can see here that it's creating a new material. It's doing the UV unwrapping. That was step four. You can see that that was very quick. Um, this is much faster than it was in previous versions of Blender. And then it's going to start baking the texture for you automatically, but it does still take a while to bake. So obviously go make yourself a cup of tea. So you can see that now the process has finished and it took approximately four minutes to bake the textures. And now if we go to this view here, we can see that we've got all of the objects joined together into a single one. And we've got a new material with a new single texture baked onto it. So here in the settings, it's also worth noting here that the resolution was set to 8,000 192. That's the resolution that it's going to bake the texture at, but you could choose something else like 4096, for example, if you didn't need as much resolution. So the other thing that's worth noting is that you will need to save the image that was created. So if you go over here to the shading tab, and then in the corner here, if you um, search for texture, you'll see the baked texture that was created. So that's this one here. Um, and there are two ways of saving this. You can either go to file external data and pack resources or automatically pack resources. And that will pack the texture into the file. Or you can go here and go to image. That little asterisk means that it's not saved and then go to save as. And then here I could just save it somewhere, for instance, onto the desktop. And then once that file has been saved, you'll find that it's persistent and it will stick with your geometry. So now you can see that it no longer has the asterisk. It's also very interesting to see all the little image fragments that are extracted from Google Maps here. I always think that these UV maps are quite fascinating. Anyway, that's how you can use this script and the new improved UV unwrapping capabilities in Blender 3.6 to clean up your Google Maps 3D captures and combine them into a single mesh with a single material and texture.